How do you think employers can tackle this problem of substance addictions with mental health comorbidities in a really holistic manner? Oh, you know, I think that that's a hard one. I mean, we do know we've seen seen statistics where those that do have anxiety or depression are three times more likely to have addictive behaviors. Right. So if you're looking at your data and your metrics and you see an uptick in anxiety medications, depression uh, diagnoses. OK, we, we probably got a bigger issue than we know right now. Right. And we may not see it right away. Um, Typically, we see um, those with anxiety and depression, 17% of them probably have a substance abuse issue. 42% of them probably have some sort of addictive behavior. It may not be substance abuse. It could be, it could be a, a multitude of things. But knowing that you have that data in your hands and, and knowing that we've got these statistics, these historical statistics, you can start to do something about it then, right? The first, the first step is knowing that you have an issue. And if you know depression, anxiety, suicidal um, tendencies are starting to increase, everything else is kind of going to come along with that. So what do you do? Do you need to rethink or reconsider your, your EAP and the benefits and programs that you have available? Do you need to lean on your carrier? Do we need to lean on the PBM to, to pull some certain triggers as well? Do we need to look at management training? Um, do we need to look at alternatives for an EAP? more digital access versus, you know, trying to pick up the phone and getting into, in, into somebody when the, the network is already maxed out. There's not just not enough providers right now to be able to provide that support. So I think, again, just knowing that you have an issue, then you can say, okay, what, what can we do about it? 